The History of Pharmacy Research Center is a location in Griffith, Indiana for researching old products in old pharmaceutical companies that generally aren't in existence anymore. I graduated from uh, Purdue University and uh, bought a drugstore in Gary, Indiana, and then another one here in Griffith, and ended up with nine different stores. And after buying some of those stores out, they had a lot of old artifacts in them because the stores were old, and I saved some of those. Uh, probably in the beginning, I, something looked unusual, and I really didn't pay much attention to it, but I might put it aside, like say, for instance, uh, a scale, you know, it was kind of intricate, a uh, mortar and pestle that was unusual, and I'd put it aside and everything, but, and so I started studying it up and getting interested in, in the um, artifacts. So, and this was about uh, 15 years ago that we started it. A yeah, show globe, it's kind of a symbol for pharmacy. The idea of it was during the plague, in England in 1600s, um, if a ship would come in to Europe or to, in the Thames River to England, and if the town was quarantined because the plague was going on, they would put one of these in the window and a red one meant that the town is quarantined, don't come off of the ship. If it was a green color that was in the show, I mean that the town's not quarantined, it's okay to get off of the ship. And that's how stoplights became to mean red to stop and green to go. It could be a hanging one, could be ones on the counter in the window. Most all stores had a window display where you could change it out and put different, different items in it, you know, at different times of the year. There isn't too much that I don't have any anymore. I, I can't find too many things that are really unusual. Um, a few things here and there, so I'd get a, a maybe this last year, I may have made, maybe got another dozen items or so. Well, you're not going to find the items that are in here in a store, you know, generally anywhere else. And um, so kind of the, uh, maybe keeping it going, you know, some of the items and stuff, because there's a lot of these items that are in here, it's the only one in existence anywhere. You couldn't find another one anywhere else. So. But also, I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to save it for posterity. Probably just the fact that uh, that I'm retired and I don't have anything else to do, <laughs> so I can, you know, it gives me it gives me something to get in a house for and something to work on. And some, you know, if I was a wood carver or carpenter, I'd probably collect something different. But you know, this stuff you'd see in the stores and everything, it kind of goes with the profession. So. If you have a, uh, a question in regards to anything in pharmacy, in old pharmacies, whether it's soda fountains, old companies that aren't in existence anymore, old products that aren't in existence anymore, and you're looking for information on it, we're open just by appointment only for specific people and projects that are looking to film items and talk about some different items that they're interested in.